Yeah, no, I feel feel really comfortable. You know, working with Wash, you know, everybody knows how he is with his drills and stuff. He he uh you know, he, he makes it tough for you not to be comfortable when you get out there. You know, he does a very good job. I you know, I love working with him. Um you know, I've gotten quite a few balls over there and, and, and feel really comfortable and um yeah, so it's it's been good. Why why would you say if I said tell me why you feel more comfortable right now than you did maybe you know, when things went south last year, why do you feel better about yourself entering this season? You thought it was about like hitting? Yeah. Um, just in a better position, you know, mechanically, um, you know, working with Brumley, you know, getting getting things straight. I felt like when things were going south last year, you know, I was, you know, very honed in on um, – you know, the, the off speed, and I just really got away from my approach. But going back to – and, you know, the swing obviously wasn't there. I was missing, you know, missing fastballs right down the middle that I should, you know, should have been hitting. Um, you know, just the overall, the mechanics mechanics of my swing is, is a lot cleaner. It's more consistent. Uh, and that way then I can, you know, not having to worry about that, I can now try to focus on what, what the pitchers are trying to do to me. Um, and really just having an understand of – what I'm trying to do when I'm up there at the plate, you know, I do a, a drill where, you know, I have two balls on the corner of the plate and, and, you know, during my work, I, I try to stay away from those pitches. If the ball's, you know, on those edges or even out, I'm not swinging at, I'm just, you know, trying to understand the strike zone better. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where I'm at there. Did he give you some things to work on in case your swing does to get a little bit out of whack or whatever to, that you can go back to some points that you can go to? Yeah, we have some some drills that I do every day. I, I, the biggest thing, you know, I feel like, you know, watching, you know, Freddie do the work, Ozzy do the work. They're very consistent about what they do. Um, you know, they go they go to their their drills that they do and they, and they stick with them, and that's what I've done. Um, so I have I have a couple that I I do. Um, you know, I do a one handed drill with my my top hand and a one handed drill with my bottom hand, um, and then you know I work on. You know, really, you know, staying in my legs and not, you know, I've always tended to have that slide a little bit, but, you know, staying away from that. Uh, you know, the couple of those drills help me, you know, that way, like I said, when I get out there, you know, towards the game, you know, in the game, I'm not having to worry about my mechanics. I can focus on the approach side of it. Hey, how much of a relief was it to get uh, to find out Freddie was going to be ready? You know, it's huge. Done. You know, you know, having a guy like that. You know, out. That's the last thing you want. Um, you know, he he's the you know the best player on our team. He's gonna you know the, our number three guy. You know, in the lineup, he's gonna you know to not have him in the lineup that would have been devastating. But you know, to, for him to have those two negative tests and, and get back here and and you know I, I believe that you know he's getting at bats. You know, coming up to the season that I think he'll be ready. So uh, it's you know a huge confidence booster for everyone. Hey, Austin, you've uh, obviously come up through the minors with Mike Soroka. You've seen him from day one pretty much. Um, when you think back to, you know, 2015 to where he's come and where you guys have all collectively come together, what do you think the biggest thing is, you know, that you've seen from just his growth and development now getting a chance to start on opening day here in a couple of days? You know, the last couple of – his outing – this past outing and outing before, that was the first time I ever faced him, you know, ever. Um and he is nasty, you know, every, you know, I think the biggest thing for him is, is, you know, his being able to use his sinker um, and then, you know, all his other pitches, he can throw them anytime in the strike or, you know, in account and just about put them wherever he wants. And I think that's, that's huge. Um, and, you know, he's, he's up there, he's got a, a lot of confidence, you know, for only being 23. And, and, you know, I, I think that, that goes a lot for him. Uh, and he's, just, you know, like I said, he's got he's got so much confidence in his stuff and, and you know, able to to put it wherever he wants, that that goes a long way. Now now that you've faced him, is there anybody you can compare him to that maybe you've faced since you've come up to the big leagues? Does he remind does his stuff remind you of anybody? Um you know, as far as a sinker ball, I would you know, you know, obviously not the velocity, but Syndergaard, you know, when I faced him, it was, you know, that tumbler that just it gets on you in a hurry and and um, you know, that's Kind of who I put him, you know, when I go up there is, you know, you got to kind of, you got to, got to to be on time with it. You got to be under the ball basically. And because I mean, it does, like I said, it, it tumbles on you. So, uh, 
you know, as far as like that that movement of the ball, you know, Syndergaard, he's him and you know, I, I feel like Mike can, you know, like I said, it, man, who was I? I think I was talking to Charlie the other day. Um, it was just like he can be in three zero count and throw his sinker right down the middle, and he's gonna get a guy to roll over on. I mean, it's just that good. I mean, and and that goes, you know, props to him to, you know, line him that pitch. You uh, changes to the uh, outfield uh, depth chart. Have you been asked to stay ready out there? No, no, they have not said anything to me. Uh, I have the glove, but you know, as of right now, I'm I'm, I'm focused on third base. But uh, you know, I'll, I'll be ready if needed. You broke in and left field. You would have played first base if necessary, but are you happiest to – I mean, this is what you've always played. Are, are you happy that to say uh, you'll be starting the season at third base? Yeah, that's, that's huge. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's just a – I've grown up playing it. You know, I, I want to play, you know, in the big leagues a long time at third base. Um, you know, so getting the opportunity to, you know, to work there and, and get a lot of reps, it's, it's awesome. I love it.